Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Brittany Miller in for Karen Greer today. So Christmas is over and now the rush is on to get back home. Well, today is considered an extraordinarily heavy travel day. In fact, an airline trade group says today and tomorrow are two of the busiest days of the year for airlines. Nearly 7 million people are expected to fly today. So check out these airlines this morning in Hartford, Connecticut. Very, very long and unfortunately very slow. CBS 46's Daniel Wilkerson is at the busiest airport in the world to look at what you can expect here in Atlanta. I'm just off the phone with airport officials. They tell me it's all running smoothly. After all, they designed the operation for days like today. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a nightmare. It's a busy time for Atlanta's airport. How's your experience been at the airport so far? Um, so far, so good. We dropping our son off to fly to Norfolk, Virginia. Airport officials tell me more than 80,000 of you will take flights out of Hartsville Jackson Thursday. More than 300,000 travelers today will take flights in and out of the world's busiest airport. He flew um, there last year this time and it was a lot busier than it is now. <laughs> I thought there would be a whole lot more people there here to the point where my flight is at 1150 and it's like 930. Officials at the airport remind you to arrive two hours early if you're flying domestic, three hours if you're flying international. We arrived about 730 and his flight is at 10. I expected to be in the big rat maze for a long time, <laughs> but no, it's cool. In case you didn't know, you can enter the airport from the international side. Oftentimes it's a lot less crowded at that checkpoint. Ed Hartsville Jackson, Daniel Wilkerson, CBS 46 News. Great advice.